Hi everybody, it's Missy with Southern Theory Designs and today we are going to do a baseball bat with alcohol inks. So you know what that means, this is going to be a wood grain tumbler. Uh, this is a 30 ounce slim that I've already sanded and prepped and I'm doing it on a white base because I want it to be a very light color and I find that using a cup is really the best option to hold it. I do have stands, but this works for me. Um, what you're gonna need is obviously a prepped cup. This is again a 30 ounce slim. I use one inch foam brushes, and I use two of them in case I want to layer a different color on top of the other one, and we'll get to that shortly. I do have three colors that I'm gonna choose from. I don't know if I'm gonna use caramel, latte or ginger. I don't know if I'm going to use the ginger, but I'm going to look really quick and see which one. It's a nice. Okay, so that is latte. It's been a while since I made one of these. The baseball bat one. And that's caramel. It's a little darker. I think I'm going to do the latte. And that one's way too dark. So I think I'm going to stick with the latte and the caramel. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the bottom. Um, and I'm going to start with the latte. And then I will do a little bit of overlay with the caramel if needed. So to do the bottom, I just go ahead and drop it on the top. And usually I would be wearing gloves. But right now, gloves are kind of hard to come by. So we're going to forego the gloves today. And right now I'm just going to try to get it in, make sure I get it all, get the bottom covered, and then gently I'm going to do streaks. I know this doesn't look very dark yet, but it will get there. This is a process. Just gentle streaks like that. And it's actually much darker to me. Let me see if I can do this. So usually what I do is I load up my foam. And I usually go from the bottom to the top. And if I miss any spots, that's okay. Because like I said, we're going to go over this I'm not a fan of putting a lot of knots in mine. So if you're looking to make a knot, I'm probably not the person to watch. I don't like a lot of knots. I like the traditional wood grain look. And I'm really not squeezing a lot out, so please don't think that I am. Almost done with the first coat. And I try not to stop in the middle. If I do stop in the middle, I go back over it. And you can see it's already starting to get that really pretty wood grain look. It is really this easy, ladies, or gentlemen. Now I'm going to start going over just a little bit to get a better texture. And I'm going to want some of these lines.
And you'll notice I'm putting it on a little thicker now that I have my first base coat down. And you're going to see why. Okay, so now I'm coming around and it's going to start looking a little smooth, like right here. And I don't want that because that doesn't look like a baseball bat. And I'll just, I'm going to start doing the grain part of it. And that's just going to be me doing it a little lighter. And I'm going to start putting just some pieces here and there. I'm going to hit the bottom one more time because I need to get that wood grain in there. My bottoms I don't make perfect because I always put like something on the bottom. Like I think the last one I did, it said Louisville Slugger and it was really cute. Now, this layer that we're doing here is just to give it some depth. And we're going to do, you know, just light strokes. If you get a strain, like a vein of um, the wood that you really like, blow on it and it will dry this way. It doesn't get, um, it doesn't, you know, drip or move your lines. Ignore my dog in the background, that's Lucy. She's not a fan of hanging out in the garage with mommy. She has to sniff everything. Okay, so that side there looks a little blah. This is actually being made for the captain of police, his son plays baseball for the local high school. And I made one for his other son who likes the Atlanta Braves. Woo -woo. We're here in Georgia, so. Anyways, I guess his younger son saw it and was like, hey, I'm the baseball player in the family. Okay. So far, I think that looks good. And since I did the lighter color of ink on it first, I'm going to go ahead and reuse this. And I hope I don't screw this up by putting a darker color on it. But I'm going to just do a drop. And this is just going to give it a little bit of depth. And on the bottom, you don't want it to pool, so just pull it on the sides a little bit. The good thing about alcohol ink, if you screw it up, you can actually just take some alcohol and remove it. So that's why I don't want it back on the top, the bottom. I can't get it to go straight. I'm getting around to it. You're going to see it in just a second.
I mean, don't put a lot of the second collar on because it will remove your bottom collar. We're just adding to it here. I'm kind of trying to stay with the lines that I've already made. It's pretty self-explanatory how to do this. I mean, if you're following along with me, And I always say, once you do your layers, once you do your layers, let it rest for a minute, let it breathe, let it dry, and you're going to be amazed. It's going to change a little bit on you. But sometimes change is good. Sometimes it's not. Like, seriously, that's what I mean when you have a, a good vein going that you really like on it, blow on it, and it will kind of like stop it in its tracks. I screwed that up. I always clean up around the edges ever so gently. Okay, so at this point, I know it doesn't look like much, and I might <clears throat> I might have too much light on it. Let me turn this a little bit to fill us some light. Kind of jacks it up. Turn this light up too. So this is the more natural color that you can see. So we'll bring it in. I'm gonna go around it to make sure I like everything on it. Which I don't. Thank you. And I'm just gonna pull some of this. Really cannot screw up. This track is so bad. You really cannot screw up wood grain. Not in my opinion, at least. Okay. So here's the wood grain. This is going to be the baseball bat. I think it came out really good color is pretty true to, let's see if it turned the light on again. Okay, don't aim the light at it. Let's just get a little light over there. So there you have it. So to get the baseball bat look, we used latte and caramel. And what I'm going to do is I am going to sit and let it dry. And I am going to then hit it with you guys are going to freak. You're not going to believe this. Aquanet. Aquanet is going to seal it for me. Um, that's the only sealing I do. I don't believe in um, spraying it with spray paint or sealant. You don't need to do any of that. Aquanet. 
bomb diggity. So uh, I don't know if you watched when I did the shipwreck, but when I did the shipwreck, that is what I sealed my shiplap with. And I could epoxy over it and didn't have any problems. Now I will let you know that when you go to epoxy it, it is going to turn yellow green. It's You're going to see it and you're going to be like, oh no, what did I do wrong? Let me strip it. Everything like that. Don't strip it. Leave it be. Let it dry. Let it cure before you move on, just to be on the safe side, but it will turn back to the original color. The It has something to do with the alcohol and the epoxy, and it all needs to be dry for it to become one color. I have had a couple that didn't turn green, but those were, I don't know, those were like a fluke or whatever, but for the most case, my wood grains do turn greenish, a yellowish greenish, and it's like, oh my gosh, what did I just do to it? So just stick with it. Just don't give up on it. Put that first coat of epoxy on. I usually wait about um, four hours, um, up until 24 hours. Um, but since I've been using the Aquanet, I do do the four hours now. I used to wait a full 24 hours. Who's got time for that? Not me. So anyways, there is your tutorial. I will drop some photos in this video so you can see what they look like when you're done with them. I hope this was helpful to you. Again, all you need is a couple one inch foam brushes. Um, I use caramel and a latte. I've had a lot of people ask the colors that I use to get this perfect color for the wood grain and those are it like seriously you cannot screw up a wood grain I mean I think it looks you know, it looks pretty darn good I might I might fix up this little spot right down here but that would probably be about it anyways thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed learning how to do a wood grain go for it go make some fun <laughs>